my channel welcome to another video so for today's video we are going to be doing we're teaching you how to build a business casual wardrobe slash more of like professional wardrobe just trying to give you some ideas on how you can dress more professionally so what inspired this video was I had went home for spring break and I went to the H&M back home and I was actually just getting like some casual clothes and as I was walking out I heard a girl say I don't know how to dress like I look like a manager and her saying that was just like I was like you don't know how to dress like a manager and like dress professionally so that's what kind of inspired this video and especially since she was walking to the section where there were just like jeans and graphic tees and like completely walking away from the business casual I was like your answer's right there if you just look. So that is what inspired this video. This is what it's mostly about. Um, I'm definitely down to doing like a more cheaper alternative just because like looking at like the total, like I have notes right here just so I can go through each of the outfits and the cost. But um, definitely some of these pieces are on the more pricier not crazy expensive but pricey or like I'm a college student so it's like some of the stuff is like a bit a lot for me but I mean at the same time um I'm definitely down to doing like um building a business professional look using only Target or something like that something a bit more affordable something a bit more I guess say accessible because I know not everywhere has a H&M even though H&M is very popular yada 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 um yeah but I'm definitely down to doing another video very similar to this so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so for the first look it is kind of this pink blazer and this it has like a black loose fitted pants with it as well and a cheetah print shirt now for me I really love about this is that first off although you do have you have your classic business casual kind of pants they're not super fitted they're kind of loose honestly and um the cheetah print shirt well i know a lot of people with animal print i think it's kind of sometimes got a certain kind of stigma when you wear animal print and i have never tried on animal print until that day so i was just like i definitely have nothing against it i just never tried it on but um yeah so that is that look i definitely would recommend this to someone who really isn't quite ready to go full on dresses and just wants to start off with some like casual pants that are still pretty comfortable you can even all um what's the word like change it out with say like more of a black cigarette kind of pants which are basically just more of a, like a fitted pants if you want to do that i think that would still work either way so that is for the first <laughs> first look I'm looking at my paper because I don't want to get the numbers wrong but the total cost with the blazer the pants and the top it was $109.97 and then all the outfits I use the same black heels and if you add the black heels it went up to $134.96 so just to keep that in mind I don't know how much how much is like too much how much do you want to spend just because if you're just starting out you may just want to be like, I only want to spend X amount of dollars on the wardrobe. So I will leave all this information down below of like individual pricing of items. Um, also on that note, I wasn't able to find like the exact links so that you could order them. But I know this is stuff that they currently have in their stores. So I would try to get this video up as soon as I can. That way you can find this stuff. But yeah. So, so for the second look, it is kind of almost the same thing. Keeping the cheetah print and the black dress pants except changing it out for a long tan jacket or coat whichever one i like the word coat more for that just because i think of like jacket i think of like loose not looser but just like shorter when i think of coat i think of like long and that i think is the best way to describe it but um a lot of these um that i'm going to be showing you is using the same garments over and over again so that is one of the big things is making sure that you go for stuff that you can reuse stuff that you can alternate really easily really fast stuff that's not going to be like not too difficult 
to change it out so even keeping with this next one just the same thing except changing it out for a long uh tan coat just even for more if i would say do this one maybe more for kind of like not winter but kind of you could do for winter so yeah. that's that one and the total cost is 144.97 and with the shoes it is 169.96 so that is for that one <laughs> for the third look and this is I think actually the cheapest look that I have on the whole list it is this green kind of I described it as like a green military kind of style skirt um it is definitely very I'd say snug in a way um I would definitely go up at least one size than your normal because I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the clip but I got my regular size and I definitely should have went up at least one size. So if you do see this um, skirt, I would definitely recommend going up at least once just so that you are a bit more comfortable. So that's that. Um, also, it has this the green military skirt, like I said, and I absolutely love this top. It's just so simple. It's just like the black top. It's got a cute little detailing with some buttons. Um, I think this is definitely like it's more I want to say not like intermediate of getting into wearing skirts and dresses and stuff like that but I definitely think this is something that I could see myself wearing all the time easily and I absolutely love this one it's my favorite and again had the same black heels with it as well and again with the shoes you can all to change it however you want I just picked like one pair of black heels just to keep it consistent and they also don't have a ton of shoe options. So I just grabbed the first thing I saw. I could walk in them. I'm terrible at walking at heels. So like those were like just enough that I could get away with like walking in them and still looking like professional. And the total cost for that one was $49.99 and then once you add the shoes it was $74.98 so that I think is definitely the cheapest one that I have on the list but I think it still is a great outfit and still is just very in a way almost youthful with it so I would definitely recommend that for someone who is around my age or younger or well not younger but like around my age just getting started that way you're not wearing the same old things all the time and so next for the fourth outfit i just kept on the same top that i had on on the last one the black short sleeve with the buttons in front and then i added this long skirt that is by far so comfortable and it's something that i definitely don't have in my wardrobe it has like it starts off with like black it's a black white and then it's teal there's only so much of the teal so it's like it gives you just enough of a bit of a pop of color without it being too much taking away so you could easily do like um your accessories matching with the teal skirt or however you want to do it you don't have to but the teal is only so much in there so if you are someone like me one of my big things is my main colors in my wardrobe are black and white and gray um yeah that's 90 percent of my wardrobe so if you want to do something where you add a bit of color I would definitely recommend that skirt because it is very comfortable it's very flowy it's got a bit of a color so if you're just getting into color because I can completely understand I'm so not a person to just be like I want all this color rainbow like I'm just like you can give me a solid black outfit and I'll be content so I definitely understand that if you want to work your way in with adding color start with just a little pop of color on the outfit and then add on maybe some accessories with it Definitely, I would go less is more. That way it's not too, too much overing. And it's not too much to where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never doing color again. I hated this. Take it slowly. So that is what I'd recommend. <laughs> the 
cost for that outfit is $69.98 without the shoes and then with the shoes it is $94.97. So next for the fifth outfit, I kept the same skirt, the skin, ugh, same black, white, and teal skirt, except this time I added this just kind of overall plain, just white flowy um, top that has like a little like bow thing that you can do at the top. Um, I love that it's so simple. It's so cute. And this is one of those tops that I wouldn't say is like, I'd say it's a staple just because it is so simple and it is very just interchangeable. I could probably honestly, with all the skirts and tops I have, I could honestly use this top for every single one, um, for every single outfit. But it is just such a simple but yet nice looking top that it works so well with everything. And I would definitely, when you are going in the business casual route, when you're looking for stuff, I would get you at least a top or two and then a pants or two that are very just kind of like easy real quick to just throw on things you can really easily interchange that way if you're like I don't know what I'm gonna wear you could just easily like grab that top and grab like a nice pants and you're good so definitely having used a few things that are gonna be quick to interchange things that are simple but yet still very still very nice and professional that just work well with everything um I definitely like I know for me I want to say for example this top it came in like a number system not just like small medium large um i got my normal size which was like eight um just to give you a background i am about five foot three yeah five three yeah five three and a half um i typically wear like an eight or a ten so sometimes a medium or a large it varies and um my body shape is considered a rectangle, which basically just means my top half of my body and my hips are the same and my like stomach area is equal to that as well. So that's just basically a little overview on what that is. But um, I would definitely say like getting you those kind of tops that are very simple like, is just like a good staple and just something good to have. Like you definitely don't have to go all bold and all just way too much out of your comfort zone especially if you're just starting off keep it very simple keep it very just relax something that's not gonna like overwhelm you and then you're just scared to wear business casual ever again Let's go. yeah so the total for that outfit is $84.98 and then with the shoes it is $109.97 so that is that look and then on for the final look which is by far like the one thing like I didn't buy any of these clothes but I really wish I bought this dress it's this black and white striped dress by far I know I said that other outfit was very comfortable but like this was like so comfortable and like especially during like it is about springtime now I could easily see you wearing this in the springtime and it would just be so great because it's still pretty it's like it's not super thick so you still got a good amount of airflow going through it's so comfortable like I, I was so comfortable in this and I wanted to buy it so bad but um it's just about knee length a little I want to say it's about maybe a bit over the knee um I know for me being shorter I typically like I have a hard time with dresses and skirts I will either get something like the last skirt I showed you the really long one I would just get something that's gonna be very long or a dress that is gonna be kind of about knee length that way I don't feel like it's completely swallowing me just because I am not that tall it's not like a balancing kind of like proportions so I definitely if you're shorter I would go for something about knee a little over the knee that's kind of like a sweet spot or go completely like a long skirt because I feel like once you get into I don't know what it's called but like the lower half of your leg the part of your leg between your knee and your foot I feel like if you're wearing something that's going to be very much like in that zone of like stopping it's going to feel like a lot especially when you're not that tall and yeah I would just recommend keeping a few watching your proportions and making sure they're even in a way but yeah so that is that
look. I also, you could pair it with the tan jacket. You could probably pair it with the pink one as well. Um, I prefer the long tan jacket just because, say if you were to go into the office, it typically becomes colder in the office as we all know. Um, indoors typically always has the cold air on, even in the summertime, which is great because like in the summer it's hot and you want that. But um, I would do the more tan jacket just so if you want to while you're sitting and working in whatever profession you do, um, you have yourself at least some sort of coat to have with you. So I would rec the, recommend the tan one over the others, but I mean, again, you don't have to. So. Sorry, the cost for that one is $94.98 and then with the black, the little heels, they are $119.97. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you like this. There were some things you can take away. I will put all the information I found, but again, I do not, I wasn't able to find the links on H&M's website so that you could directly order it. Like I tried and like their system is just not organized. And like, I couldn't find any of these items. So I was like, what's going on? But yeah, so I will leave all this like information down below. That way you have some idea and yeah and if you want to see like another video kind of similar to this doing more of like affordable alternative or even if you want like more expensive um i can do that but just let me know thank you so much for watching subscribe down to my channel below and like this video if you liked it and i'll see you later bye, bye.